Hey guys, Matt from Nod Studios here. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of an ASMR video. Doing full around surround sound just for you. And just for you. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just kidding guys. Welcome back to the fifth episode of our playthrough of superpower 2 as the central african republic now in the previous episode we decided to go ahead and go to war with sudan we conquered them annexed those bad boys and then sold a few territories to the soviet union in order to keep our economy on track now what i'm going to go ahead and do and a nice gentleman in the comments below reminded me that environment or not environmental educational spending increases the um, services sector. So it'll increase production for any service. So like construction will go up faster, production for it will increase at a faster rate if we have a better educational system with more money going in. Now we do have a little bit in surplus, so I'm not sure if I would be able to invest this anywhere. Yeah, we would be able to invest a little bit. We could do some luxury commodities. Yeah, there we go. And sorry for my voice squeaking like that. I don't know why it, you know, was squeaking like that. Apologize for that. Anyways, there we go. That leaves us with still a little bit of a surplus, but not too much of a surplus. I'm going to go ahead and speed the game up to speed 4 increase um not research speed but rather foreign aid and we'll do that just because i'm really trying to get myself friendly with the world once again i probably won't become friendly with you know the west because they absolutely fucking hate me and so does botswana for some odd reason they just want to freaking kill me assassination was that you, Botswana? That better not have been you, bitch. Ooh, speaking of covert actions, we should go ahead and train up a few covert cells while we're at it. And I'm going to do elite cells, of course, because if they're not elite, it's honestly really not worth even having them. So let's go ahead and name this cell. We'll do cell B, and we're just going to do it in, you know, very standard protocol. Naming them one after the other through the alphabet. And we'll just do, um, we'll just do three elite cells. That'll work out okay. Let's also take a look at our research tab. Okay, awesome. So, we have managed to fully research the bare minimum technology for air units and naval units. So, while we're at it, I really want to go ahead and design a few of those units right now. Now, I didn't get any unit name suggestions from the previous episodes, so I'm just going to have to come up with something on my own this time around. So, let's see here. I want to do, um, let's do a new design. And we are going to do, let's do an aircraft carrier to begin with for the naval units. We're also going to need destroyers and frigates as well. Damn, we're getting a lot of covert actions going on. That is not good. Yeah, that's really going to screw with our stability, which really ends up hurting your economy if it gets too low. And it can also hurt your approval as well. But our approval is fine for right now, and we're also a single-party democracy, so I really don't have to worry about that unless it gets to, you know, like the 10s or the 20s. Um, let's see, what kind of, what kind of hold do we want? What kind of deck? Ooh, alright, we'll go with this one, because it's really long, wink wink. And let's see, what do we want to name this boy? Maybe we could name it the Transporter. With an O. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and do another design. And we need to design a patrol craft unit. Oh yeah, we're going to max it out. All the way. I'm going balls to the walls with that one bar. <laughs> we're only two years away from getting the next um, military technology though. So that's pretty good. 
You know what? I guess in a way, though, the research taking forever is actually kind of cool. And it does make, I guess, a little bit of sense. I mean, you never really progress past, like, modern era in the base game anyways. You kind of always just stay in the modern era. And then, I guess, you know, as you research things, that's just kind of like improvements on the modern era vehicles. But... Eh, I guess, I got you know, that it, the fact that it takes longer to get better vehicles and stuff like that, I, I guess that is pretty cool. It does take ridiculously long, though. Um, ooh, this is interesting here. So, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> it's got, like, this freaking silo on it, some machine guns, turbo boost on the back with some freaking fireworks machines. Oh, yeah, this is great. We're gonna name this, um, let's see, the, the, the launcher, or no, the, mm. The launcher sounds like shit. We're going to do the fireworker. The firewaka. There we go. Let's create him. And next up, we're going to do a destroyer. Let's see. What kind of holes do we got for this bad boy? Hmm. That'll work out okay. We'll just name this. Um, hmm. What do I want to name this? <laughs> All right, guys, so for this destroyer, I'm going to go ahead and name it the piece or not the piece, but piece of ship <laughs> because it's, it's literally the base, the bare minimum we can do for this ship. So we're going to name it the piece of ship. <laughs> Why not, man? It's, it's really fitting, actually. So we're also going to do um, we also need to do frigates right there because those are very important for keeping our guys alive and our navy protected so we'll max that out once again and we'll just go with that it, it really doesn't matter to me um unit name is gonna be hmm let's see we'll we'll do the Atlas Explorer. Perfect. And then we're just going to create a few air units while we're at it. Like attack helicopters and transport helicopters. Just to support our ground units. Because it is really helpful in battle if you do have air units. You really want to have a well-balanced, well-rounded force. Um, and we'll do a desert sand color. You know, I guess we could just go with something a little bit generic and name it, like, you know, the Eagle Mark One or something. The Eagle Mark One. I guess that'll work out. I, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm kind of out of ideas here, guys. All right. There we go. Perfect. And then we're also going to do transport helicopters as well. And I think that'll be okay for right now. We Oh, no, we also have to do an ASW helicopter. For our Navy. Um, we'll give it like. We'll give it the black color. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and name this bad boy. The Mithril Hurricane. There we go. Perfect. And where are you ASW helicopters? There you are. Look at that. So beautiful. Give me a kiss. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. Um... <laughs> oh, boy. I've gone completely insane, haven't I? You guys already know that, though. Ooh, look at that. It's like a face. He's got eyebrows. A nice little patch of sideburns. Three eyes. He's like a cyclops, except with three eyes. Ooh, this thing has like an arrow pointing out of the front of it. It's got a bayonet. <laughs> we'll, we'll name it the Bayonetta. <clears throat> or name it simply Bayonetta. I think that's the name of a game. Oh, I might get, I might get taken down for copyrights. All right. We'll give it a green color. Why not? Or maybe a brown? Yeah, no, we're going to go with brown. I, th I like that a little bit more than the green. 
All right, sweet. So let's immediately begin production on those bad boys. We'll do, let's say, hmm, maybe 500 of the attack helicopters. And 500 of the transport helicopters. Then for the Navy, I think I'm going to do increments of 200. So we'll do 200 ASW helicopters, 400 patrol craft, 20 frigates, or maybe actually a little bit more than that, maybe 35. We'll do 20 destroyers. And aircraft carriers this we're gonna have to have the least of because they take forever to goddamn build so we're gonna do maybe 10 of them maybe not even that much honestly you know mm, that is damn expensive as well we're just gonna do five because i don't want to put myself in any debt so we're gonna do five i'm gonna increase governmental spending increase educational spending put a little bit more into the environment that'll help boost out the economy and also research as well. And you know, while we're at it, since we're doing so well, the economy is really growing super fast. We're going to give the people a little bit of a tax break. And that'll help to further boost our economy and economic productivity. Yeah, I mean, our resources are just shooting up. And I think that was because of the stimulus package that we introduced. You know, we may even be able to invest a little bit more in some areas of the economy yeah like we can invest four billion right here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and every little bit that we invest helps out as long as we're going positive i'm okay with investing um and we'll just put the last little bit of our money into wooden paper we'll increase the market share by five percent perfect and we'll even give a little bit more of a tax break while we're at it. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to wait a little bit of time and I'll be back when all of these units are finished training up. All right. So all of our ground units have trained up as well as our air units. We're just waiting on the rest of the aircraft carriers and I think frigates to be built. No, wait. Actually, we have all of our frigates there. What, what else are we waiting for to be built? Piece of ships. <laughs> I don't remember what that was, goddamn. I just made that too. <laughs> Those are the destroyers. Okay, so we're waiting on the destroyers and the aircraft carriers for the Navy. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and train those guys up with the most basic training. Ooh. Okay, that's actually pretty expensive. Maybe we won't. What about how much would it cost to do the infantry? A lot more. Okay, a lot goddamn more. We ain't gonna do that then. We ain't gonna do no training. Yeah, that shit way too expensive. Goddamn. You'll get training from battling on the battlefield. All right. So let's go ahead and deploy what naval units we have right off the coast of our nation. And let's see where that ranks us in terms of the world. Wow. Really? The fifth best navy in the world? Hmm. I'm surprised. <laughs> I was able to build a really good navy super quick. All right. So let's go ahead and deploy um, the air units as well. We'll put those bad boys right down into the main army. And I think I'm also, while I'm at it, I'm going to deploy this second army right there. And I'm just going to leave them as sort of a defensive little mainland force in the you know central african republic because i am gonna send these guys out i'm thinking of expanding somewhere else other than africa possibly very possibly the middle east like i was thinking of maybe doing saudi arabia or possibly even iran iraq is another possibility as well but with the way their relations are at the moment i don't think that shit's gonna happen we could check out Asia as well. I don't know how they're looking. Usually they're pretty friendly and good over there. What about North Korea? Ooh, okay. You know, we really could go for North Korea. How many people do they have? 32 million. It would tank our economy a little bit. And we might have to sell some more territory. 
Yeah, because that's just below what our population is. We could recover from it, though. It's not, you know, impossible to recover from. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think North Korea is actually a really good option for us. Let's see. Do they have any allies, though? Oh, yeah, they do. They, they're allied with the Soviet Union, which makes completely, you know, complete sense because the Soviet Union, North Korea was basically just a puppet state to them. So, yeah, never mind. Scratch that. We are not going to war with the Soviet Union. Fuck that. Like, fuck that right out the goddamn window. That shit ain't happening. We could go for the UAE. They don't have too bad of, of uh, you know, an economy. And they should have a huge oil market share. Fossil fuels? Mm, no, not. They don't. Hmm. Usually there are fossil fuels in, in the Middle East. Usually they have a huge, huge market share. But they really don't. Hmm. Anyways, I think I'm actually going to go to war with the UAE. So... Let's bring our navy over there. We're going to embargo them first. Economic embargo. That's going to really piss them off. <laughs> and also piss off the whole entire world as well. And while we're at it, I'm just going to slightly adjust the budget to put more money into the uh, educational system. Alright, and let's request war. Wait, first of all, we have to see if they have any allies. <laughs> yeah, that would have been really bad if we went to war with them and they ended up having allies. Okay, but they don't have any allies, so we are good. We're going to request war. Accept that bad boy. Bombard the hell out of them. And send over the boys. No, not Oman. There we go. You know, I have a great friend from Oman. I've, I've probably told you these guys this before. I, I think I did in the previous episode when I was playing as I ran. But yeah, I have a great friend from Oman. Never been there myself. You know, the Middle East, though, is definitely one of the places that I want to go. I, I definitely want to visit the Middle East and also Asia. I really want to visit China and Indonesia. You know, Indonesia and Thailand are great places to go to to vacation if you're like an American because it's super cheap to vacation there and you get really really good services for the price like all the street food is super cheap the hotels like five star hotels are super cheap so that's definitely on my bucket list I really would love to tour any Asian country to be honest but Let's go ahead and annex the UAE. There we go. And, ooh, yeah. The world just loved that. They they had a little explosion in the pants over that. All right. There we go. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and combine the army up there. What's going on here? That's okay. Yeah, all that is just nonsense. Let's see what's going on. In the events window, Norway economic aid is now active. Weapons trade is now. What does that mean? I, I, I honestly don't know what that means. Romania raised its taxes. Ooh, WSM. Is that the Republic of China? Or Taiwan? Same thing. Hmm. I think that is them. Let's see. We should be able to maybe click on the flag and go to them. I know there's got to be a way. Hmm. Oh, and we can also filter this out. I don't know what this button is. Oh, that looks like natural events. Oh, yeah, that's the globe. <laughs> it, I didn't even know what it looked like at first. It looked like a little gumball or maybe like a mint coin. I don't know. Taiwan is doing really good, though. We might establish a colony there later on. 
Damn, Suriname. You know, with all these people sabotaging me, though, I really hope that their global relations are going down because of it. You know, maybe they, maybe it actually isn't, though, because I am really hated across the board. Where is Zimbabwe at, man? I, I actually have no clue where the fuck Zimbabwe is at. All right, so we've managed to fully annex the United Arab Emirates, and they actually didn't make too big of an impact on our economy. If anything, they actually boosted our economy and the amount of money that we are making. So, with that, I am going to go ahead and lower taxes. You know, why not? Let's give the people a tax break. Oh, man, and our economic health is just looking beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I am thinking of moving quickly on to Iran. Let's see how many people they got. 80? Okay, they got a lot of people. Maybe I won't then. Maybe just Libya? Let's see how many people do they have. Only 6 million. So we could definitely absorb them. Hmm. Do they have any alliances? Usually, though, when I go to war with anyone in fucking North Africa, the the world instantly gets pissed off. I don't know why. Like, every single playthrough, regardless of what mod I'm using, whenever you attack North Africa, you get fucked. Like, it, it's just something that happens. I don't know why, but it, it happens. Anyways, since we have a huge surplus of money right now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually train up some more military units so we'll do a bunch more infantry vehicles we'll do 5,000 infantry vehicles and 50,000 infantry and we'll also do some air defense units while we're at it sweet and then once those guys are done i'm going to actually train them up and i'm going to leave them as a garrison army in the middle east because this main army right here, that's super badass, that is going to be our main invasion force. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and embargo Libya. Then request war. Ooh, the Soviet Union, okay. Alright. No, no, no. This is not happening. Let's just swoop in as fast as possible. Ooh, this is actually, <laughs> this is a great chance for me. Because I'm going to just swoop in and take all their fucking land. Well, at least the land that I, you know, sold to them. Sweet, dude. That is if their navy doesn't wreck me. But it's the Soviet Union. They don't have a warm water port. In real life, anyways. So... They shouldn't yet. I, I don't think the Soviet Union, maybe like, nah, I don't know. I don't even think those are warm water ports. I think eventually those freeze over. But anyways, yeah, they don't have a good military. No, do they? What is that? No, no, they didn't just beat my Navy. You got to be fucking kidding me, bro. No, 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 no. They just beat my fucking Navy. You got to be shitting me. Oh, they have the second best navy in the world? Oh, because over here. Fuck. I didn't even realize they had such a beefy navy. God damn. Well, now I'm not going to be able to get that main army off of there. So I guess I'm going to have to deploy those guys that I just trained and use them for war. You know, while we're at it, we should get some more air units as well. Because now all the air units are in the Middle East. Alright. Sweet. Let's go ahead and merge those boys up. And then occupy. Oh god. Oh my god. So the world completely hates me. So what I'm going to do... Let's do ye old trick. And I'm gonna I'm gonna really hope that that's gonna maybe make a difference. And hopefully the world will have a change of heart. Ooh, the Congo decided to go to war with me. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm too smart to annex you guys. I am not fucking annexing you guys. 
Not until way, way later on in the game. Because that's just an economic downturn waiting to happen. But I will take out your military now, so that way I can swoop in easily later on in the game. You know, it would be good to just nuke freaking <laughs> the Congo before you annex them. So that way all the people die and you don't have to provide for them. Because their economy is so terrible. You could be the United States and annex them. And your, your economy is still going to go in the shitter. Oh, we can't occupy those territories? We have to do it manually? That's kind of lame. We are looking really good, though, with our unemployment rate and also our poverty. 35% of people are below the poverty line, which is actually, you know, not too bad for us. And that unemployment rate, whoo! That is beautiful, man. Beautiful. Do we have child labor legalized? I think we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you know what? We should legalize gay marriage. Let's do it. Why not, man? Let's give our people a few luxuries. They do, after all, live in the Great Republic of Central Africa. Alright, I'm gonna move on to Algeria over here really quickly. Oh my god! No! No! <gasps> Holy shit, bro! <sighs> Why didn't I see this coming? Why didn't I see this coming? Well, I guess it's going back to the build menu. We we need a lot of troops now. This is this is bad. Let's see. Can I just deploy my navy here? Oh, I only have two pieces of ships. All right. Can I can I get those troops back over? Nope. Instantly attacked. Although they might actually win that battle. Let's see. They're approaching each other, still kind of closing in. Come on. Oh, they're winning. Yeah, no, they're kicking ass. And they'll definitely be able to take down some patrol crafts. All right, so maybe we'll actually be able to get the troops over there. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, probably not. Yeah, no, not with all those naval units there. We're going to have to destroy those somehow. And I am not going to be able to do that. Man, our main army up there is getting torn apart. Is there anything on the planet? No, nothing still. And what year are we in? 2030? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um, we need more infantry vehicles and more tanks. And more of everything, honestly. We are just so understaffed right now. Well, it's honestly not even that, though. Our main army's over here. That's the problem. Maybe we could get military trespassing rights from Saudi Arabia? Yeah, I didn't think they were going to give it to me either. Holy shit. The world... Yeah, see, this is exactly what I was fucking talking about, though. You literally cannot go to war with war with uh, North Africa and not get the whole world to freaking gank up on you. It's literally impossible. It's never happened to me. Like, it's... I've never gone to war with a North African country, and the world hasn't been completely pissed off at me. I don't know why. Like, why? <laughs> if someone can explain that to me in the comments below, please do. Anyways, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. In the next episode, we'll continue the struggle. And I'm actually going to follow through with this war for quite some time. I'm going to try and beat these guys back and reclaim my territory from the Soviet Union and also annex Libya. So hopefully we'll be able to end up doing that. Although if we do start to get super ganked by like the United States and stuff and they start sending troops over, 
I'm just gonna say screw it and try and go for appeasement and try and peace out. But other than that, yeah, that's the plan. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. It really helps out and it really does mean a lot. So once again, thank you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!